What is going on guys, Xeek here, and I am bringing the long-awaited updated EQ video for the Steel Series headsets, specifically the Arctis Pro Wireless, which I actually just purchased not too long ago. I'm gonna have a full-blown review on these pretty soon. I also have an unboxing that's already up, um, so if you haven't checked that out, please do. It is on my channel as I am speaking. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. The first two things that you are going to need is Steel Series GG, which I will leave a link to um, in the description. So once you get it all downloaded and you open it up, it's going to look exactly like this. It might ask you to make an account. Uh, if so, really easy to do. So you're going to click engine and you're going to click on the headset that you are using. I'm going to click on the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless. Now, these settings are a little bit different than the last Steel Series video I did because I did kind of tweak them on this headset um, to really optimize them for this headset. But I am wearing the Arctis Pro Wireless right now just to prove like, it does work perfectly with both of them. Uh, so this is basically what it looks like. So I have plus 1.5 on the 31 Hertz. The base response is already pretty good, but just wanted to add a little bit more on the very low end. Um, 62 Hertz, I have zero, didn't add or subtract anything. Um, you can drop a little bit from this if you want. I'm not a huge fan of the higher frequency base, but uh, to each their own. 125 Hertz, we have negative 1.5. This is just kind of a dirty frequency. Um, as a matter of fact, from 125 hertz to 500 hertz, it's just kind of dirty frequencies because those are the frequencies that get distorted really easily. So I have that at zero. I have 125 hertz at negative 1.5. I have 250 hertz at negative 2.5. And I have 500 hertz at negative 1.5. So from here going forward, it's kind of just going to be adding uh, to the gain for each of these one kilohertz i have it zero basically because one kilohertz is supposed to add clarity because it's on the high end but it kind of gives muddy clarity if that makes sense um my audio files watching this video will understand what i mean um for two kilohertz i have plus one this kind of starts to clean everything up uh four kilohertz i have plus 2.5 uh this just kind of add a more adds more depth to the treble in a song, the higher range. Um, and then eight kilohertz, I have plus 4.5. And then 16 kilohertz, I have plus 4.5. These are kind of the two that, that really add the clarity, the crispness to the highs. Um, so it's kind of a big deal. Now, some people are used to muddier sounding music, whether that's from an older headset that they had or they've just never owned a headset. They're, they're not used to hearing things at this this high of a, I don't even know how to say it, to be honest with you. Um, just the clarity, the clarity in general, they're not used to it. Um, so you can give or take on all of these. You kind of have to tune it to your personal preference. I have heard a ton of headsets and this is arguably the best to me. Um, there's really nothing else to change right here other than gain, make sure that's set on high. Now, this second part is crucial, and a lot of people did not do this in my last video, and this kind of makes or break these settings for me personally, um, just because I like the immersiveness. You want to go into the Microsoft Store. Let's see. Okay. And you're going to search up Dolby Access. So let's see. Boom, right here. Now this headset, from what I remember, does come with Dolby Access. Um, I already paid for it previously when I didn't have this headset. Um, but you're basically going to download this. Let's open this up. Okay, and this is basically the only thing that you're going to see. Again, it may ask you to make an account, but if you're already signed in to, uh, into Windows, then you should just automatically be good to go. So, Make sure you have Dolby Atmos for headphones selected, not speakers, or else it's not going to apply. And also come down here before you mess with these settings, right click on your, your volume knob, 
and you're going to make sure spatial sound Dolby Atmos for headphones is selected. Windows is kind of finicky and sometimes it will auto select a Windows Sonic for headphones and that just sounds like garbage. Um, to this day, I can't figure out why sometimes it just unselects Dolby Atmos and then chooses this one. Um, so just kind of check on that. If things sound unusual, then that's probably what it is 99% of the time. So you have Dolby Atmos selected. You are going to go to settings. It's going to start you off on game or music or voice. You're going to want to click custom one. Before you even mess with this, make sure you have surround virtualizer on. This never hurts, even if you aren't using this for the Arctis Pro or the Nova Pro. This never hurts. It just really adds to the immersiveness of music and gaming. Uh, a lot more better, I guess, footstep. Uh, footstep. Uh, you can hear footsteps a lot better. So once you have that on, it's kind of hard to tell you exactly what I have each of these set to because they don't give you plus one, plus two, all of that. Um, so I'm gonna try and guesstimate here. Just pause the video here and change it to all of these. Uh, I'll try to roughly estimate. I have 32 Hertz at plus two, I would say, plus one and a half. Uh, this looks very similar to the Steel Series settings, by the way. It's almost an exact copy. Um, Dolby just has a more refined EQ in that I find that it targets the frequency range a lot better. Uh, so yeah, 64 Hertz, I have it at negative two and a half. 125 Hertz, I have this at negative three, negative four. 250 Hertz, I have this at negative five, almost negative six. 500 hertz i have this at negative three one kilohertz i have this at negative two two kilohertz i have this at plus one four kilohertz i also have this at plus one and a half two and eight kilohertz plus four plus four and a half and then 16 kilohertz i have at plus six or plus five and a half so a little bit janky i really wish they would just show exactly what you're changing it to as far as plus and minus the decibel level but yeah so that's pretty much it i don't think there's really anything to change in the sound settings for the most part um yeah no i don't i don't think there's anything i guess just make sure you have your inputs and outputs selected correctly uh device properties yeah so there's just a never another spot where you can enable dolby atmos for the headphones or window sonic which you don't want to do um but yeah i mean that's pretty much it guys uh there's nothing more to do this like i said this does not just apply to the nova pro wireless or the arctis pro wireless all series had steel series headsets as far as the dolby access settings go you can apply that to virtually any headset and that's just a good frequency range buff for the high end and a i guess a nerf for the low end so yeah I really appreciate you guys tuning in for this. Um, thank you so much for almost 900 subscribers. It's a huge milestone for me. Never thought this channel would really go anywhere. Just kind of a place where I can express my love for tech and stuff like that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Later.